Okay, go. Start talking. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. From here to everyone at Finley River Kennel. JV Outdoors, I got my shirt yesterday. Uh, my son, Cody, he got in a car wreck yesterday. He's just fine. The car is totaled. We went out in this video you're going to see. We went out last night, or actually this morning, after 12 o'clock, early Thanksgiving morning. We made three or four trees. Uh, got the meat um, on the last tree, big old coon. It was nice spending time with my oldest son, just me and him out in the woods. Um, we had Bigfoot, which has been hog hunting. But he took the coon hunting real good last night. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel and leaving me thumbs up and everything. So hope y'all enjoy this video clip. Well, what's up, y'all? We are back in the woods. Got me another little hun rig. Got me a little Ford Ranger. Got my son, Lackey Outdoors, out here with us tonight. That dog box right there was the dog box my daddy built when I was a little kid, y'all. We got little Joe. We got his fool brother. Not a little mate brother. His baby brother. Big foot. Y'all remember Bigfoot? The world's smartest coon dog that gets out of dog pens and dog chains. And so you can see the videos I put on that dog. He's a scape artist. Big, pretty looking sucker right there. We're going to get in here and see what we can do tonight. This is the second time I've been out hunting since Missouri. I haven't uploaded the video yet. Y'all will see it before this one. My baby's sleepy up there. Oh, he's eating. What's we got to eat? What does coon hunters eat before they go out in the woods? Taco hell. Taco hell. Lackey Outdoors is getting him some gas out of y'all. All right, we talk enough crap. Appreciate everybody that supported the channel and stayed with me. We're working on 4,000 subscribers, y'all. Appreciate everybody that leaves likes for me. I do read the comments. I've been really, really busy. I appreciate everybody that's been watching the videos. I don't know what that was. Chupacabra anyway. If you hadn't already subscribed to the channel, we'd appreciate it if you will. I got to jerry-rig this uh, back back here so I can get the tailgate down, y'all. I wanted to show y'all that door latch on there like that. It's been like that since I've been a kid. He did this when I was my early right. teenage years. Made that dog box. It's lasted 30-something years. Right. They look good together anyhow. Yeah. Old Bigfoot's been hog-dogging it. He's going to try to run him on uh, coons. Really? Yeah. We're going to wait till little Joe strikes first, then we're going to turn loose Bigfoot. So he don't run no pig. Little Joe struck at 330-something yards. I don't know if y'all can hear him or not. We got a moonlight night. See if y'all can hear him on the video. He done turned old Bigfoot loose. Went in there with his big brother, little Joe. Gonna teach him the ways of the Finley River Hounds. 51 years of tradition. Mm. Looking up, checking trees. We get anything, we'll get back with y'all. Y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. We appreciate it. Share the videos out. Uh, Alright y'all. He is freed. Uh, on private land. <laughs> in a big ass tree out in the middle of a field. 
coastal field. There's a big tree. This was not a good track in the beginning. He worked it. Speak to him, son. Get your ass back on that. Just get on the wood. Get some tree footage of you. Move out the way, Cody. He wanna go on the other side of the tree. Y'all see how he does me. He's working with old Bigfoot there. Come around here on this side so I can photograph you, boy. Speak to him. He likes that spot over there, I'm going to look and see if we can find the coon. All right, y'all, that first tree that we was just at, we did not see the coon in that big old tree out in the middle of, well, what, out in the middle of the field. It was out in the field, coastal field. We're going to cut them loose up to this other little spot. Right. And we'll get back with y'all. Moonlight night, we did not see a coon in that first tree. He may or may not have been there. We're going to go give it hell again. Southern pride. Don't tread on him. That skull will bite that snake, that serpent. We'll see y'all out in the woods, y'all. We cut the dogs loose. We got a strike. Hmm. From the dog. Oh, little Joe turned loose. Bigfoot. We're at this new little spot I don't hunt too often. Good to see my boy leading a walker. Family traditions. Not that the red dog ain't no good. We don't hunt her. But uh, that little red dog, Tria Coon. Won't she, son? Tell them about the video you didn't upload with her climbing the tree after the coon she treed and all that. What, about a month ago? Yeah. Yeah. I had to climb up and get her out. <laughs> Y'all hear little Joe barking. Hopefully we'll see some meat in this tree. He sounds better on this one than he did on that other one, didn't he? He had to really work that track. About three quarters of a mile. No man's land. Old Bigfoot even put in with him a little bit. There Bigfoot. Two brothers. Ooh. Sound like they going toward the creek. This place here, one side is government property and the other side of the creek is private land, so you gotta go where you think you can tree a coon and I ain't never videoed in here. There's old little Joe. It didn't take him long to get to. Stop time, son. Y'all see him over on that big tree. <sighs> Old den tree. There's a house over here. Stop time, son. <coughs> Get on that tree. Get him and get out of here. Whew. All right, y'all, they ran. This is the third turnout from that tree when they crossed the creek on the private land. I didn't look very much. I looked a little bit. It was right behind the house, and 
years ago, probably 10 or 15 years ago, the people that lived there said it was all right if I hunted down in there, but that was 10 or 15 years ago. They come up here where we're supposed to be on the government property. 800 something yards, we drove around to another road. We're 200 yards from them. And they treed, even Bigfoot's tree and the hog dog. Little Joe's baby brother <coughs> was treeing. So we're gonna get in here. They're in a spot, if they got the coon, it's coming out. Moonlight night. 2 a.m. We didn't turn loose until Thanksgiving Day at midnight, early in the morning. Thanksgiving. This is what this is. Me and my oldest boy spending time in the woods together. So I'm going to shut up. And I'm getting my exercise, y'all. All right. All right, y'all, we at the tree. I didn't go and catch little Joe because the coon is right up in there. I seen him blink. We're fixing to show him to you. I'm not going to squall because these coons will come out. Leaves us. Oh, there he is. Up there. I don't know if you can see an eye blink. But y'all, we're going to show you the coon over here in a minute. Uh, right up there. He's up in there a little bit. I can't see it on the camera. Yeah, you can't see it. Wind's blowing. We're gonna get him out, y'all. Get the meat out to him. Did a hell of a job. You hear you getting old Bigfoot treeing. Y'all hear him? We finna get him out. Put meat on the table. Well, y'all, we've loaded all of our five shotgun shells. Coons right there. And that thick, rough stuff. I can see his eyeball. Y'all see that eyeball right there? That's the coon. And that thick stuff. See him blinking, y'all? No, I ain't lying. I ain't got to lie. He's up there blinking. We're trying to figure out how the hell we're going to get this coon out. But it's coming out somehow. If I got to drive all the way home. <laughs> Walmart closed. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning now. I done took the gun apart. Bullets. Shells keep sticking. We got to have some meat. Are you up? Can you please, like, I love you forever. Right there. He did a good job. 800 yards. This coon's got to go, man. Well, y'all, we got somebody going to bring us some shells, so we're going to be here a couple of hours. We done took the gun apart. Shells got jammed in it. Just bear with us. A couple of hours, this coon will be out. I got, next time I bring more shells. I only brought five. Getting old. Blue five shells and can't get a raccoon out. Oh, Bigfoot going to sleep over there. Three o'clock in the morning. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Boy, we finally got him out, y'all. He's a big one. All right, y'all, we're going to dispatch this car. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. 
Run that track free that cone, y'all. Still doing it in the river style.